Assalamualaikum everyone. My name is Dr. Mohina Bitti Alas and I'm from JDC2423. Today I'm going to talk about the major applications of the microcross and Z2. In 2017, another merger has happened. The world has awakened to the news that microcross holdings were purchasing a food buy level Jimichu, rough, roughly about $1.2 billion. This appeared to be uh, let us try and integrate for combining the product for maximum impact. Next, in the agreement, uh, John Idol and the Terry Dennis uh, agreed to continue their role as the CEO of the, their company respectively. They also decided to maintain the current management uh, in the company as Microcore and Jimmy Chu uh, will continue to operate separately. Here is the agility of the measure. Uh, most importantly, acquiring Jimmy Chu helps Microcom make a uh, progress in a certain area of its runaway 2020 plan and expansions in other product areas. Both companies aim to apply the experiences, infrastructure, and capability that it has developed for the worldwide growth as a luxury fashion. Other plans may include improving marketing communications, strengthening its customer loyalty program, expanding the digital marketing, and also focusing on quality rather than quantity. After the merger, reported that Microcom was having 26.3% rise up in the revenue that brings about $1.2 billion in three months along with the shares, rose more than 4%. It is expected that a greater product diversification have more balance of portfolio, while geographic diversifications increase. Overall, the allocations of that leisure ratios retailer is expected to add between $580 and $590 million to the company's revenue. Market cost merger is the long-term plan for its runaway 2020 strategy. Here is the factor of the merger. The planning includes of Overtakes the company through diversifying its product mix. Uh, Michael Call joining the larger industry to boost its sales back because affected from the merger of its two biggest rivals, which is Coach and Kids Speed. In the future, Call's planning to open new Jimmy Choo retail shoes and expand their brand's digital strategy. The point of view is the merger benefits to both of the companies since this company trying to open a new market. As been stated that expansions of the course brand may directed the shoes brand. People might think what could happen to the originality of the brand if they merge. Uh, they have to overcome this perception of the people that their originality of the brand would not be changed even if after their merge, or perhaps even more better after their merge. So it could attract more of the buyer to buy their products. Conclusion, the merger was a good step for both companies to gain profit. Although it was a wise decision, there are also good and bad effects behind it. Both companies have to deal with some issues that may arise, such as the trueness of the brand name. So, thank you for lending your eyes and time. That's all from me. Thank you.